There was a horrific, horrific terror attack in Somalia yesterday. I want to show you uh, this short clip that has some of the gut-wrenching images from it. When the truck arrived at the busy intersection known locally as K5, there was a traffic jam. Dozens of motorists stuck in their cars, hundreds of bystanders too. And so the explosion caused carnage. This was the biggest explosion I have ever heard. The car exploded at the center of the busiest junction in Mogadishu. It caused huge destruction. I saw more than 20 dead people around the street, and there may be more than that in the collapsed buildings. I've never seen a scene like this ever before. All the buildings around here have collapsed. There were close to 200 people in these buildings. I hope everyone is okay. K5 is in a bustling commercial district of Mogadishu with many shops, hotels and businesses. The blast happened outside the Safari Hotel, not normally used by government workers, and so it's not clear whether the hotel itself was the intended target, or possibly the Somali foreign ministry nearby. It's emerged too that the police were actually following the truck at the time of the explosion. About two hours after the truck bomb blast, a car bomb detonated in the city's Medina district. Two people were killed there and the driver arrested. The group Al-Shabaab frequently launches gun, grenade or bomb attacks in Mogadishu despite being forced from the capital six years ago by African Union and Somali troops. The ongoing threat is a constant worry for many Somalis. Paul Brennan, Al Jazeera. Guys, the the death tally, at least the last time I saw, because it's been going up and up and up and up seemingly every hour, but the last time I saw was about 280 people who were killed. 280 people. And again, I wouldn't be surprised if that number goes over 300, because there's now there's another 200 and some odd who are injured. So this bomb was a gigantic gigantic bomb in the middle of a very busy street and it was designed to do maximum damage and you know you heard them reference it there that's al-shabaab is uh, you know likely responsible they're one of the worst of the worst there you know you have al-shabaab you have boko haram you have isis obviously al-qaeda these are just those are various jihadist groups Al-Shabaab is more uh, located in Somalia. They've done horrific terror attacks, um, you know, over the past few years, maybe decade. And um, they've just been a scourge in Somalia. And think, I mean, like, what the fuck? Why? 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 Why would you do that? Why would you? What do you think? What's the fuck? What are you getting out of it? You know? What do you, we'll kill all these people and then establish the caliphate? What? Everybody's, you know, in solidarity with people in Somalia now. Everybody's going, wow, that was the, one of the most atrocious acts of evil we've ever fucking seen. And that's not going to advance your cause unless you're doing it just for the sake of doing it. You know, and I don't know if in their mind they think we're just killing the infidels here or... Whatever, we're, we're doing something wrong to people who did something wrong to us, but those people didn't do anything wrong to you. They're fucking random people working, going about their business, going about their daily lives. I mean, that's as evil as it gets. And again, those numbers, I don't know if I've ever seen those numbers before. 9-11, of course, rivals it. But outside of that, like, what the f... And unfortunately, the media, it, I mean, they just, they're not covering it that much which is a damn shame. And, you know, anytime there's an attack in, Euro in Europe or the U.S., there's the Je, Je Suis, you know, Paris or whatever, fill in the blank with the place that got attacked. There's very little of that um, for Somalia. But this is not, this is not normal. That is not, you know, something is just, well, whoops, I guess that happened and that's a thing that happens. No, this is a big fucking deal, man. For those of you, you know, who don't, know the situation with Somalia in regards to what we're doing. We're already there. <laughs> so some people's reaction might be, well, come on, now we got to go get them. Like, let's go get Al-Shabaab. Yeah, we, you know, we've, we're already there. We're in Somalia. And we've been drone striking in Somalia for a while now. 
they're on the list of the seven countries where we're doing some sort of military intervention. Obviously, some of the countries were still doing a full-scale war, like Iraq and Afghanistan. Some countries, it's more of, uh, you know, traditional airstrikes with fighter jets. And then other countries, it's a drone fest. And, you know, we are doing drone strikes in Somalia. In fact, Trump recently uh, got rid of the rules of engagement, loosened the rules of engagement for our drone strikes in Somalia. So that means, you know, they, they say, hey, we're going to go after more targets and we're going to have fewer rules. And that'll fix everything. Well, it turns out it didn't. You got rid of your drone strike rules and you loosen the rules of engagement and it's not like, well, magically, now we were able to stop everything that negative that was about to happen. No, that was that's a tremendous, gigantic, preposterous terror attack. So, you know, look, I, I don't know what the solution is other than to stand in solidarity with the Somalian government if they want some humanitarian aid. I mean... But I don't know what the answer is. Nobody knows what the answer is. Anybody who tells you they know what the answer is, they don't know what the answer is. You know, we've been waging a war on ISIS and we've been waging a war on terror since 2001. ISIS didn't exist in 2001, to be fair. That was on against Al-Qaeda. But we've been waging a war on terror, starting with the war in Afghanistan in 2001, war in Iraq in 2003. We've been fighting ever since, but there's still been a giant proliferation of uh, jihadism. There's been, there's more terrorists now than there were when we started. I don't know what the solution is. I wish I had an easy solution. Um, if you want to wage a war on it, well, we're doing it. There you go. We're doing it. So, I guess you could say stay the course if that's what you want to do. But what is needed, obviously, is uh, humanitarian aid and support uh, for people who just had their lives upended and destroyed by such a horrific terror attack.